I'm back. Okay, I did just wash off um, that cosmetics mask. And so I said I might as well just show you guys real quick what I use at night after I wash my face. I then use the Bashia Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel, which is what I thought before it had broke out my chin. But I haven't used this all over my face in like a month, but I still do use it in front of my eyes. I'm wanting this to completely clear up before I start using this all over again, even though at this point I don't believe it was this product because it's been so long. So I'll take about this much and I just put it under my eyes. And it does help hydrate under my eyes, which makes my under eyes look fuller, which decreases the look of puffiness. And it does have a firming effect as well. And I noticed the difference um, the morning after the first night I used this. And I did first use it just under my eyes. And the next morning I looked in the mirror. I'm like, my eyes are not as puffy. <laughs> so I really like this. And I don't mind just using it just under my eyes versus all over because it's a little pricey. Not as pricey as this puppy that was sent to me from Influencer. This is Kate Somerville. Bio mimicking peptides, and it's a serum, smooth plus firm, active hydrates. And it says you can just use two drops over your entire face. I don't know if I just use drops that are too small or not, but I end up using three or four drops. And it is a liquid, so this is what I do. I put, you see that, that one little drop there. So maybe people are using larger drops. And so that's what I do. And you see how thick it is. Like, it's really not even running. And so the first thing I do is dab under my eyes. This really does have a firming effect. Which I notice almost right away. Which is why I do under my eyes first. Because I do want to make sure I get the serum there. Because of my under eye issues. I also noticed with this, when I started using the Bashia Hydration Gel, that it did brighten up under my eyes a little bit. My under eye discoloration um, is not hereditary. Um, the, the skin under my eyes are thin, thinner than the rest of my face. And most people it is anyway in general. Um, I've always had allergies. And so as a kid, I was always rubbing my eyes, rubbing my eyes, rubbing my eyes, rubbing my eyes, like almost constantly. And I do think that has something to do with um, the, thin, the skin being so thin and frail under my eyes. Wearing contacts helps me not rub my eyes because in my mind I'm like, I can't rub it, I might pop the contact out. <laughs> so this, this um, when you initially put it on, it feels a little tacky, but it dries down really smooth. And I can feel a firming effect. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like, you know, super tight, itchy or anything like that. I really like how this feels. I'm glad that this came in the influencer box because this thing is like, I think like $98. <sighs> But honestly, because my skin likes it, I probably would purchase it when this runs out. And using those four little drops, this will last me quite a while. The next thing I use is my Olay Regenerist Regenerating Serum Fragrance Free. This is a staple. I use this in the morning and at night. I use this in the morning and at night as well. And this in the morning and at night as well. <laughs> and I use maybe a pump and a half over my entire face and then I just rub this in if you guys have a BJ's near you I hate the name of that place being in the BD being in the BDSM community and having worked with sex offenders you know BJ's just means something other than I think they mean for the name of the store. And so I just, I hate calling it that. But this comes with um, a BJ's. And sometimes they have coupons. And I think it might be like 40 something dollars. You get two of these and a travel size. And just one of these is like almost, well, it's over 20 bucks. And so it is a good deal to get two of these and a travel size for the price. And plus with the coupon, it might be $4 off. The last thing I do at night is the Olay Generous Night Recovery Cream. I use this at night only. It's a night cream. And I take about, do I usually use about that much? About that much. And I dot it. 
all over. And I just rub it in. And then my face is done for the night. The only thing different that I do in the morning is after I put this on, I put on um, the Bashia Beauty Oil. And then I put on my day moisturizer. That's the only difference in my skincare routine. The only other exception is I do alternate between this like feels really good. This is very, <laughs> very moisturizing. It's not greasy at all. It absorbs really well. And my face loves it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. The only difference, yeah, I said that. Oh, I do alternate <laughs> between what I use to cleanse my face. In the morning, I wash my face with Cetaphil Bar Soap. Um, it's too drying for me to use on my body, um, but because I, I have combination skin, is what I'm guessing, is that it does, my face does really like that. So I use the Cetaphil Bar Soap in the morning to wash my face. At night, I will either use, and I should have brought that stuff out here, at night, I'll either use the Bashia Black Charcoal Facial Cleanser or I will use the St. Ives Oatmeal Mask and Scrub to wash my face. My face likes that more as a scrub than a face wash, but I will sometimes use it as a face wash. And so those are the only differences between the day and nighttime and the various products that I use. And I hope this was helpful to someone. If you have any questions, um, let me know. See, my bags aren't too bad today. Unless this doesn't ring like back here that's making them look like they're not that bad. Um, let me know what you guys use and what your skin likes. If you have sensitive skin, if you're sensitive to fragrance, uh, if you've tried any of these products. And if they worked for you, if you like them, if you want me to talk more about them, just let me know. Thanks, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.